Hi everyone on the internet, this is Kelly from Nice Lady Productions. Today I wanted to take you back in time to NAB 2013 and the Red Booth. I want to particularly go over some of the new gear that's set to come out in the summer and fall of 2013. But before we get to that, let's take a look at what Red was doing at their booth. First off, Red was showing off their education program, condensing it to an hour-long course on Red Digital Cinema. Let's take a listen. I think the critical thing about shooting digital is you don't want to overexpose your image. And with these tools, you want to keep the histogram nice and thick in the middle to yield the best quality from the camera. So uh, those are the uh, things that you'll be able to see right now. And then with the upcoming Dragon, um, the sensitivity is even better. So we're going to be able to shoot at ISO 2000 and have it look as good as what we see here at ISO 800. Now, if you have an opportunity to attend for education, I strongly recommend it. I've had an opportunity to attend it in Los Angeles, and it was quite the unique and incredible experience. Now let's talk about gear. The big thing, Red Dragon. It's a camera sensor upgrade for Epic and Scarlett. This means that if you own one of these cameras, you can upgrade the sensor without having to buy a new camera. These cameras are made in the USA, which I think is pretty incredible. These are real cameras that they were switching out to the Dragon sensor right in front of our eyes. So one of the cool things about RED is that they have swappable mounts. This is such a cool feature for any camera. Now RED was showcasing the RED motion mount and what this is is a new mount that gives two things. One is a global shutter and the other is built-in ND filters. So let's see how this works. First of all you can see here this is just my camera looking at the, the setup they had on display which is this fan that's swirling to show rolling shutter effect and then you have also a monitor where you have the the tear in the monitor screen so here the camera is with the global shutter mount turned off and here it is with the global shutter turned on and oh my god, I don't know if you can catch this, but to the eye, when I was seeing the difference, this is a completely different camera. So what it is, is it's a mount with a piece of glass in it. You're going to lose about a stop to a stop and a half of light because the glass is in there. But what it also gives you is built-in ND filters. You can program any buttons on the camera to change the amount of ND. So let's look at it again, before with the global shutter turned off, and then with it turned on. Next up, we have the Miser module. Not only does it give you the ability to wirelessly transmit the signal from the camera, but it allows for onboard proxy recording. You pop in a mini mag, and boom, you've got 1080p right in your hands, no transcoding, no, nothing. So with the Miser module comes the wireless capabilities to output a signal from the camera wirelessly. This is the other side of that transmission, which is the receiver that Red is calling RedLink. One of the cool announcements from the NAB floor was that Red has purchased Element Technica, which is a gear manufacturer, and they were showing off one of their cool products, which is a wireless remote lens control zoom focus and it looks like aperture control here on the lens barrel you know i like that red listens to their users and one of the comments about using a red camera has always been the fan red has countered this by releasing two new fans you can see here on the front you usually have kind of a flat face on the camera red was showing off their new front mounted fan you can also get one that sits on top of the camera and apparently still sits quite flush your camera is going to run cooler and the fan itself is going to be quieter one of the links in shooting four, five, or 6K footage is being able to capture it and do something with it, edit it. If you're doing a lot of transcoding or if you're working with RED footage all the time, RED has a new RED Rocket card for you, and it's the RED Rocket X. You can see our 3D footage running here at half the resolution on a MacBook Pro with the RED Rocket card going. I'm not sure if it can run full res on a MacBook Pro or not, but certainly running half of the resolution on a MacBook Pro is plenty resolution. Not only will the Red Ray player be able to play 4K footage locally, there will also be a cloud-based system called Otomax, and Otomax was there showing it off. I got to see it. It looks fantastic. 
At this point, they think it's going to be a paper user model similar to iTunes, whereas if I'm a content creator, I can create a channel, I can upload my footage, my videos, my short films, my feature films to that channel and decide what price that footage should be for the end user. It could be free or it could be that you pay a certain amount to download my film. So this is a very cool cloud-based system and um, I'm very excited to see what content partners will jump on board. The whole interface of Red Ray looks fantastic. Automax, the whole concept of this cloud-based system where you can sell, if you want to, your films in 4K is incredible. So Red really has this whole ecosystem locked down from shooting to post-production to delivery. They're a very unique company and the product is very unique. So that's a story from Red, NAB 2013. I hope you learned a thing or two.